Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Happy Hump Day. I am uh, so excited. This is my excited face. I am so excited because tomorrow, did you know this? Tomorrow is the one year anniversary of the Mueller investigation. <laughs> it was appointed one year for tomorrow. Of course, uh, the, the first anniversary is traditionally the paper anniversary. <laughs> and with any luck, that is what Mueller is going to be serving Donald Trump with. A grand jury has been impaneled in Washington, and by law, it has to be a jury of Donald Trump's peers. So I'm guessing it's Sean Hannity, the cast of Shark Tank, and a cheeseburger. <laughs> you are what you eat. Meanwhile, way on the other side of town, the president himself is freaking out. According to one confidant, Trump complains about the FBI raid of Michael Cohen's office 20 times a day. They actually put it on his schedule as bitchin' on the ones. Well, traffic on the twos, bitching on the ones. Now, a lot of people say that Trump's attacks on the investigation make him look guilty, but one Trump associate explains, no, this is Donald Trump's personality. He just has to respond. He's been so emotional, it takes a toll on him. And the way he deals with it is to lash out. Yes, yes, reassuring words about the man with the nuclear launch codes. <laughs> Sleep tight, honey. Everything's gonna be okay as long as nothing upsets Donald Trump. <laughs> we dance on the edge of a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Trump also complains that he needs better TV lawyers to defend him on cable news. <laughs> Jared, Jared, get me Matlock on the phone. <laughs> What's that? What's that? He's dead and never really existed? Well, that, that's a mystery. Get me Mrs. Murder, she wrote. <laughs> Get me Columbo. And who does Trump think is a TV lawyer upgrade? Former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, seen here in a community theater production of Nosferatu. <laughs> Giuliani says he and Trump are in lockstep on strategy. In fact, he says of his relationship with Trump, we're on the same wavelength. Yes, they're so close. It's like they finish each other's prison sentences. <laughs> but... But despite this defiant tone, the White House is prepared to ride out the Mueller investigation. As one White House staffer put it, everyone seems resigned to just buckle up and get through whatever we've got to get through for it to reach its conclusion. Yes, buckle up, because what you have to get through is going to feel like this. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad they're wearing seat belts. And uh, we checked. They're fine, right? They're, to they're telling me they're totally fine. A little, a little stiff in the shoulders when it's cold. Mm -hmm. But some, some people in the administration are already looking for towards the future because President Trump's campaign aides are quietly launching his reelection campaign. Wow. Yes, yes. But why would you launch it quietly? <laughs> Don't you want people to know? That's like quietly launching a search party. Has anyone seen the hikers? Were they the ones in the, in the car? I hear they're okay. Because of the... So, who's in charge of this re-trumpening? Why, it's campaign manager and man whose hair has gone south for the winter. <laughs> Brad Parscal. Parscal? Something. Who cares? Parscal <laughs> was in charge of Trump's digital team back in 2016, and he's doubling down on it because the campaign says it had great success recruiting Trump supporters with ads on AOL, <laughs> an older Trump-friendly demographic. AOL. Okay. That explains Trump's new campaign slogan, Trump 2020. <laughs> 
for America.